All right, guys, here's my Shindaiwa 600SX. Same thing as an Echo 620. I think. I think it's 100% the same thing. There were some tiny differences that doesn't really matter. I believe it has the same carb, same coil. Definitely has the uh, rim sprocket clutch. But anyways, this is about chain sharpening. If you follow the channel, you'll know that I have been trying desperately to figure out how to sharpen a chain properly. And if this one doesn't do it, then something is crazy wrong. I just, I spent so much time. I know I've got that little black spot there. I know about it. Most of these on this side have it. This one doesn't. That one's got remnants of it. But uh, here's the hook. There you go. What I am getting this with. Uh, come on. All right, so that is enough of showing the chain. It's a Husqvarna C83 chain, and um, it's really technically on its first sharpening because, I don't know, I, I sharpened it already, and it didn't work out. You know, it didn't get sharp enough. And so I'm back at it again. So trying to learn my grinder. My grinder is the 61, uh, 620 uh, It's an Oregon product, but you know, it's made by Tecamec or whatever. And um, just trying to figure it out. This grind right here is 57 on the head angle. And then at the base, we're at 25. And then it's 10 degrees, depending on which side we got, 10 degrees in or out. So 57. 25 and 10 degrees in or out. We're running about a 25 thousandths on the um, uh, raker height, which is nowhere high. That is, that is, that is I'm sorry, nowhere low. That, that is not really low rakers. That is a pretty high raker. So this should be a nice, smooth, good, solid cut. <laughs> we will see. I was absolutely meticulous. I took the, the material off just fractions at a time, barely touching it. Each side on this cut got six rounds. Yink. Yink. I would do that all the way through. Then I would tighten it up a little bit more. I'd go a little bit further, a little bit further. So it took me a total of 12 rounds all the way around the chain to get all to get both sides six times and very mildly get it set up to this profile so saw's already warmed up let's see how she cuts <laughs>
I don't think it's any better than it was last time. The chips, I mean, Typically in a situation like this, what I tend to do is I go and I take some more off the rakers. And then it just becomes grabby and harsh. And and that top plate right now, the corner is still really good. The corner is really nice and sharp and grabby, but the top plate itself, nothing special. Almost like a butter knife. I mean, seriously. It looks good. That corner is nice and sharp, but this right here, the top plate itself, I should be cutting my thumb. That should be cutting me. Thumb's fine. I, I don't even get it. There ain't no bead rolling back or anything. The chain wasn't particularly smooth cutting. Um, just overall, nothing impressive about that chain whatsoever. And I'll be damned if I didn't work hard on it. I've got a CBN wheel on my grinder now. And yes, I like it a lot better than the pink wheel that was on there. Um, it just, it just seems to cut better and not as coarse, <sighs> but I'll be damned if I can't get a good, good edge. I've tried it everywhere from, uh, 50 on the head angle all the way down to 50 to 55 to 60, now 57, trying to find the balance. I feel like it just ain't there. Uh, That John Denver's full of shit, man. 